What's going on everybody? My name is Juan and welcome to Raven Drone Solutions. So I'd like to take this time to introduce myself and introduce my company. So to start off, my name is Juan. I'm a former Marine and a former security contractor with the State Department. I did six and a half years in the Marines. Uh, the first three and a half, I was an avionics technician uh, working on mostly the Harriers um, out of Yuma, Arizona. After that, um, I transferred over to embassy security duty in which I was posted in the embassies in Republic of Congo, Malta, India, and Croatia. Um, I served from 2010 to 2017. After which, I got out of the Marine Corps and I started going to college. I attended Florida International University. I got a bachelor's degree uh, with, of international relations with a certificate in national security studies. After which, I did two years as a security contractor with the State Department in Sydney, Australia. It was actually during this time that I uh, got interested in the drone industry and I started reading up all I could about the drone industry, uh, the different applications for it, and decided that I wanted to start my own business. Um, actually, it was a friend of mine that reached out to me uh, from the Marine Corps and he told me a company that he was working for that uh, gave the training and, and um, about, uh, everything about drones and um, also would supply the drones themselves. Now, fortunately, this company um, still has yet to deliver on a lot of the stuff that they promised, uh, apart from the training, which I did and, and it was quite good training. Um, but when I came back stateside in early 2022, I got my part 107 and the day after I started my business, which was in, in late March of uh, 2022. So right now, this video recording is in January 26th of 2022. So it hasn't even been a year that I've been in business. Um, and it's something that I actually want to tell you guys about. So my company does primarily three types of niches. It does aerial photography and videography. So for things like uh, real estate events, you know, just businesses that want to promote themselves, you know, like jet skis, whatever, uh, basically the creative side of things. Um, so that is one of the main things that I do. Um, just like with many other pilots, you know, entry level is, is real estate because it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like the, the simplest. Um, after which, um, I started focusing on asset inspections. So for things like cell tower inspections, roof inspections, um, power line inspections, windmills, that kind of stuff. Um, so I do quite a bit of that. And uh, mapping and 3D modeling is the last thing that I focus on. Um, you know, for things like progress updates for construction sites. Uh, so, you know, stakeholders, uh, project managers, whatever, they can see um, basically the entire area of the construction site or whatever asset, because so actually 3D modeling and asset inspection kind of go hand in hand. But they can create digital, I can create digital, digital twins of a certain area or of an asset and they can see it, they can inspect it, um, they can annotate stuff and um, you know basically that's that's what my business does. Now, I'm gonna talk about where I see myself and where I see my company in the coming years. And that's actually a very good question. Um, the short answer is, I don't know. Um, one of the many things that I've seen with this type of industry is that there's so many ways that you can go. Um, and there's many niches out there that haven't even been uh, exploited to the fullest extent yet. Um, so really, there's right now, I'm just getting started, really. And it's something that only time will tell what will happen. Um, you know, I have experience in different fields. I have experience with aviation, with uh, construction. I have experience with um, public affairs, uh, security, different areas. So there are many ways in which to incorporate drones in those industries. It's just a matter of finding people that are willing to give it uh, give it a chance, really. Um, and these are all things that I'm going to talk about in the coming uh, YouTube videos. Um, but right now, this is what I've started with. Um, you know, maybe at some point I might specialize more in one field or I may expand and my business may grow and I may have other pilots working for me that can specialize in certain fields. Um, still to be determined. We don't know yet. Um, but it's something that I really want to take you guys 
on. I want to. I want you to take you on the on this journey, and you know, we we will see what happens. Uh, a lot of things can happen. Uh, I know a lot of guys that started out doing one thing and ended up. Uh, going into a very different niche in the drone industry because the opportunity was there. Um, I know other guys that created their own niche because they they saw that nobody else was doing it, so they just went ahead and did it themselves. Nothing wrong with that. There's many, many ways of doing things. And one of the many things that I want to point out, and I'm going to mention in other videos, is the fact that in this industry, really, you don't necessarily just have to follow a straight-edge path. There are many ways you can do things. Um, there's many different things that you can do with drones. And really, a lot of it is just all about your creativity. Um, so I'm going to get touch more on this in other videos. But just want to let you know, really, in the next five years, who knows what will happen? So some of you by now are probably asking, Juan, if you just started your business less than a year ago, why are you starting a YouTube video? You're not successful yet. You're not like the guy from the drone life or Dylan Gorman um, or, you know, the drone you or UAV visuals out of Melbourne, Australia. You know, why would you um, start a YouTube channel so so early in the game? And the answer really is simple is because we all got to start somewhere. Every single one of us has to start out at a certain point. And while I did not start making YouTube videos from day one, um, you know, I'm not that far off. I've done a lot of, I've done a lot of missions. I've done a lot of real estate. I've done power line inspections. I've done cell tower inspections. I've done, I've done many different types of, 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 of work. Um, but until I'm actually able to, to sit there and comfortably, comfortably tell you what I'm doing, um, I just didn't want to put myself out there in this, in this, in this way, at least not yet. Um, but definitely, um, I want to take you guys on in this journey also because one thing I've seen with YouTube, with especially social media, with Facebook and everything, um, just the nature of the beast with the internet, it's not always the healthiest places to, to, that, that, that people can find themselves in. One of the things I noticed with the drone industry is that People can be quite petty towards each other, and this is, <laughs> I'm going to make a whole video on this, but um, I want to establish a good, positive space where, you know, pilots can exchange ideas, or we can, you know, maybe find ways to cooperate, where people chime in, help other drone pilots, help other guys that are starting their own businesses, and really the thing is, I want to inspire other guys to to form their own companies, form their own businesses. It's a wide open market, really. Um, it's not easy, definitely. And 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 I'm gonna make other videos on on just the business side of things versus just the drone side. But you know, really, guys, we've all been there. We've all been the new kid on the block. I have most certainly been the new kid on the block. Uh, you know, I would call, I would I would say, hey, listen, are you interested in this and this? And you know, I always get shut shot down up until a few people started saying yes and then you know before you know it i started going on meetings and stuff and you know little by little it's growing it's not quick it's not a quick process um and and definitely i want to take you guys on this journey i'm going to tell you a lot of things that i've done some mistakes that i've made um you know certain um aspects of the drone industry that that are not widely talked about um and i feel like it if you really want to make it in this industry, you should come in with your eyes wide open. You should have realistic expectations. Um, but definitely, I'm very excited to start this YouTube channel. Um, I got a lot of ideas. I got a lot of videos that I got planned for the coming uh, for, for the near future that I really want to show you guys. And I hope you guys like it. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys can take a lot from it. All right, guys. So that is it for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, hit me one of these and also subscribe down below. It'll really help with the algorithm and spread the word to anybody that might need drone, uh, you know, business knowledge because I got a lot of things that I want to share and you know, there's a lot of things that I'm going to be learning in the process and that I hope I can learn from other guys as well. Uh, so chime in on the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, share anything that you guys might find useful and you know, this will help. Uh, our community to grow and hopefully it can grow into a, a positive atmosphere where, you know, we can all do well, make money and just, you know, help grow our businesses. All right, guys, that is it for today. See you next time.